Well, I think one of the big challenges, and of course I'm going out a little bit on a limb because this is not necessarily my area of expertise. One of the big challenges that Erie is already addressing, I think, is the whole scheme of how does rice fit into the whole scheme of uh, conservation, biodiversity, uh, cropping systems, what's the importance of rice paddies to global warming, and there's been quite a bit of work, I think, at least started on this, uh, from what I understand. There is some conservation uses in terms of methane gases from, from rice paddies and, and so uh, These are the kind of relevant issues, I think, that have a global, con uh, global impact, uh, a global importance, I should say, uh, in terms of uh, how, and I also read that the higher yielding varieties uh, produce less methane. So the higher production of rice, the higher amount of of carbohydrates going into the grains rather than the stems and leaves, then the, the less methane you produce. So I think these are some of the global issues. Uh, still there are issues of pesticide overuse in tropical lowland rice, and I think that will continue to be a problem uh, that uh, Erie will need to focus on. Um, some countries are better than others. Some of these are policy decisions. It's easy, like the example of Indonesia, where you can change the policy fairly quickly. In other areas, it's not so easily done, and I think the whole farmer field school concept uh, is a good one, and, and farmer participatory kinds of things, like we're doing with the with the IBM Crisp uh, uh, currently. So there are some challenges, but uh, I think uh, they're not insurmountable. They're all tied to poverty alleviation, and uh, so I look forward to continuing my association with Erie and working in integrated pest management. Uh, as I mentioned, currently we have a new project starting up in IPM, the IPN Collaborative, Collaborative Research Support Program, which includes vegetables and a rice-based cropping system. We're working with the University of the Philippines at Los Banos, with the Philippine Rice uh, Research Institute, as well as three or four uh, institutions in Indonesia. But our focus is on Southeast Asia, principally Philippines and Indonesia, for the new project. So. Um, Look forward to my continued involvement uh, with the URI. Currently, our project, as I said, uh, is involved mainly with uh, uh, Noli Veracruz, who's a plant pathologist at URI. Um, she's working with, with uh, Kansas State. And so they submitted a proposal to the IBM CRISP that didn't get funded. So we, they called us up and said, can we join you guys? And so we, will, we welcomed them into our, into our small IBM uh, CRISP uh, project for Southeast Asia. So exciting things in the future and I look forward to continued association with this and continue to make uh, whatever impact we can make. <laughs>